Hey guys, welcome back to Pret Toy Fins. Today is is one of those days where I regret coming to New York. What about you, Kevin? I'm okay because I'm not driving. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we actually came to the Bronx to do a rescue. Now this is the type of rescue that I wish we didn't have to, to make it. And you guys would understand why. Well, I wish we didn't, we didn't have to do it. You understand why when we get there and we uh, show you the situation. But uh, this guy reached out to us Ask if we could um, take care of his fish because he's no longer going to be able to. And you will see why. It's kind of a sad story. But uh, hopefully we can do what we can to help him. If you guys want to help him as well, we can do something together. It just sucks. But we're here. We're going to help him out. And I got to keep looking at this UPS so we don't get lost because this place is crazy. I'll see you guys at his house. All right. This is it. So it was just recent that you found this out. They told me on the 20th. November 20th. Yeah. And do they say it's curable? That's have what hopes. we're going to see tomorrow. Um, they did, says, did they um, say like how far along, like stage one, two, three, anything? No, this is what everything is. They just said that um, He's, he, it started. He can keep filming, but we, we can use okay. it, not use it. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it spread to my to lung. To the lung. Yeah. So I have to go start treatment fast. Now. Yes. Yeah. Okay. As soon as possible. That's why I'm like, I'm hoping tomorrow they say, okay, this is, this is when we're gonna start, well, or what treatment. This is what I'm hoping for, right? We we'll come here, we will take your fish. Hopefully, everything will be good, and we can come back and bring you new fish. That's yes. the goal. Okay. So we're gonna pray. We're gonna do our best to help out. Um, hopefully people watching the video can help us as well because it can happen to any of us you know so you'll be in our prayers and hopefully the monster fish community not only the monster fish community but the fish community Amen. itself can can come in and help out because i'm sure even though you have you have insurance yeah and i'm sure you still have expenses that you got to come out of pocket right for you for your situation so how do you get into the hobby like how long do you guys have these guys for um has to be over 20 something years already, right? Yeah, I would say the big Paco is probably like 20. Yeah. 20 years, that mm -hmm. Paco. Wow. It started off in a little 75 gallon. But how did you convince her to allow this tank in here? Oh, no, he can do anything he wanted. As See? long as it wasn't um, a motorcycle, he can do whatever he wants. He can have <laughs> no as motorcycle. many cars. My mom says the same thing. I don't thing. care what it is. No motorcycles. <laughs> That's the only. That's the See, only girls, thing that's how you keep a man for that long. <laughs> Anything you want, there's no motorcycles. Yes, that's it. I have a guy that uh, I'll probably keep some at the shop, and I have a guy that uh, he will give him a good home. He's got a huge pond, so I'll give it to him, and I'll say, "Hey, can you do something in return? Can you just help out?" You know, uh, that would be the goal. What do you plan on doing with the tank? I was just gonna leave it empty for now until hopefully I get better and then start over. Okay. Yeah, that's the goal, right? That's now. the goal. So yeah. let's keep that goal. When you, I believe, when you plan something ahead, it happens. happens. You know. So that's the goal. Let's let's empty it out. Keep it here, and whenever you uh, you're ready, we'll come back with other fish. Yeah, more. we're just concerned about the fish right now because with everything going on, we don't know how much we're gonna be able to to attend to it. And right. To attend to this tank, he does a lot of work to it. I'm sure you probably do a lot of water changes with, with yes, these guys. Yes, every day he does a little bit, every day. Just well, so my, I know. my water changes ain't too bad here because I, I have it hooked up to a uh, hot and cold water line. Uh -huh. And then there's a overflow that goes into the sewer. Yeah. So it's just automatic. Yeah. See? Smart. That's how you do it. So what do you think, Kevin? Impress it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's nice. Oh. Fish looks very healthy. But yeah. I gotta do a question. I gotta have a question here. Which one is your favorite? Um, he puts me on the spot like that all the time too. And, <laughs> I, I really and you can say there is no favorite. No, no, no. I love I, that I love one, all. that no, one no. that you like. You're, okay, this is my guy. Well, let's start with her. Let's start with her then. Which one's was your favorite that you? you Mine's like? is usually the most babyest one. But if I have to say, it has to be the red tail cat. The red the tail cat. cat. Yeah. Like, oh, he's right there. Oh, he's really pretty. So that's your baby, like that's one you like yeah, the most. That would be the one. Okay. What about you? I would say the Arowanas. Arowanas. They are. They're they're like aquatic dragon. I, I'm gonna be very honest with you. As soon as I walked in, this guy caught my attention because you don't see at this health. 
you know, this size. A lot of them have uh, messed up gills or uh, um, it just doesn't look as pretty. You can tell these guys are very well taken care of. Very impressive. Um, do we mind get a little bit wet? No. It's wet all the time, it's okay. <laughs> we got a bunch of boxes to put them in, we got oxygen. And I want to bring a big container because it's super cold outside. So by the time we got back, it would be too cold for them. So we got boxes, we're gonna have to bag them out, oxygen, and then they will keep the temperature until we get back to the shop. You got any ideas? No, just one at a time, let's just get going. <laughs> yeah. And then I see here you go like salt water too. Yeah. yeah. So what's the story of this one? Um, That actually looks horrible right now. Uh, I'd Ooh, say so yeah, two us. weeks ago, uh, I lost power. I had a GFI outlet that went bad, uh, and I didn't notice. And I came down, all the fish all were the dead, fish most of the coral. Sorry to hear that. One thing after another. I've had that experience with GFI, and I don't install GFIs on yeah, anything I, ever again. It just trips on its own whenever it wants. GFI is the, 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 the one with the little button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had that in shop too. It's, see, it's the opposite, it, yeah. it protects us, not the fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully you guys have more time for this one. We remove those guys from your hand. Like I said, the goal is to come back here, and when you're ready, we'll bring more fish for you to start growing out again. And those fish will be on us. All right? All right, well, let's get started. Uh, I don't know if my truck will back up in here. <laughs> <laughs> we have, at least we brought four, four wheelers, so we can put two boxes, roll out to the car, come back with two more. So it's gonna be a little, a little work. All right, so we're gonna go get it. We'll be right back. Okay, thank you. This ceiling is like only, there's only like this much gap. I think I'm gonna run to Walmart. I have a, a few bigger coolers and I'll see if I can get, I had three big coolers, but I didn't think we needed, you know? So I just wanna go get it and be safe. Dude, some of these fish are bigger than we thought. So take care of them. Uh, <laughs> he cares about his fish, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're gonna try to do what we can to help him as well. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are we gonna survive with that? Yeah, that's how we transport fish. Okay. I, I we have a lot of monster fish. I he knows. You watch our videos, I'm definitely gonna take care of them for you. Okay? okay and we're gonna do what we can. I know. And we're gonna do what we can to help him as well. That's your son? Yes. Oh I didn't know. Nice to meet you. We 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 told everybody that you know we're gonna open up a, a GoFund page and whatever they can do to help as well, we'll help them as much as we can. Okay? And hopefully we'll pray for him. And, and I told him the goal is to come back. And when he's here, we can bring him a smaller fish for him to start over. Okay, that's the we got to keep praying, right? Yes. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna run to Target to get a bigger cooler because some of the fish are bigger. Okay, yeah, <laughs> Do you need anything from Target? Huh? Do you need anything from Target? No. no? Okay. Thank All right. You. You're welcome. I'll be right back. Uh, John. Thank you. You're welcome. If you need anything, let us know. Okay. Uh, this is this is sad. Yeah, dude. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go. See, I hate this type of situations because it's like it's sad, you know. Like, I wish we didn't have to take this fish. And to see people crying. Uh, All right, yeah. let me go. I'll come back. If you need to get you guys need anything. Kevin might need to handle some of this fish, but they're pretty big. All right. All right. I'll, I'll be right up. back. All right. Thanks. See you in a bit. You can still function with one kidney, so they're gonna remove yeah, yeah. the one side right here. But they said they wanted to start actually the treatment, the treatment first. first. Yes, correct. To see how it responds, right? Yeah. We're gonna go with the easy stuff and save the hard stuff for Rod. We're gonna go for the night fish. Yeah. Okay. Okay.
You have your soap though, right? It's not bad yet. Yeah. Do the white one. <laughs> He's just pushing me. Oh. That's what I was worried about. He went through the net because of his nose is sharp. He stretched the rubber. His nose went right through the, the netting and he stretched the rubber up. With guys like this big, you always got to worry about them breaking the bag or puncturing it. One little thrash, and that's it. Serious business here, so I can't keep talking to you guys and focus on what I'm doing. That arowana is big. That's bigger than the ones we have at the, at the shop. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. It's got to be what, like at least seven years old? Um, no, those I got in 2017, 2018. That's it. Wow. You want to go? Did you change it, bro? No, Rod's supposed to be doing this. He, uh, he bailed on us to go shopping. <laughs> Usually I'm the one closing the box and he's the one catching it. Did it come back with a new set of Christmas pajamas? He's like, oh, you guys did great. You guys did great. <laughs> That's why they're double bags. Do you have that tape you were offering before? I wouldn't go into an apartment thinking that this monster fish is so big. You know? Yeah. And when he came in, he's like, I said, see, I told you, you should have said so. <laughs> well, I mean, the size is okay, just some of them, their body type, it's not flexible. So, like, I caught all the ones that are, you know, good already, but now we're getting to the stuff that they're not going to be able to turn in the box. Yeah, I have these bags that are six mil. Okay, how, how big are the bags? They're big. <laughs> I want to put two. I want to put two, but I don't know if we can put two. Oh, you did it. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm going to bring him out first. Give me that scissor. Oh, he's out. He's out. And you think rubber nets are good, but it stretches and they went right through it. See, that? there's no hole there. But that's the right? There's no hole there. No, Hardly. none Hardly at all. To get his head it just, through it. It, just did. it stretched it. Right? Holy! Look at the size of his head too. <laughs> he was. Uh, oh, you got the bag? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna back up. Okay. <laughs> I know I've showed you guys before, one of the keys is making sure the bag is big enough that it's against the side of the box. So when they thrash like this, the box is actually protecting the bag from being poked. That's it. Otherwise, this, this bag would be Swiss cheese by now. Swiss cheese sounds pretty good right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.
Yeah, yeah. Oh. Whoa. Pulling the whole thing. He's got to be tired by now. Now that's a bath. <laughs> All right, only one per box. I decided. <laughs> they made the decision for me. Look at what he's doing. Oh, right. He got oh, smacked. Yeah, you see how that guy got smacked? Yeah. yeah. Right here. My whole leg's all numb. <laughs> My God. They're strong. I bet you, you wouldn't even know that you've eaten this fish before. What? You eat fish? Yeah. You eat fish, right? This yeah. is uh, the swai. Really? Uh huh. Swai fillets, that, that white fish. That's this. That's that? That's really? That. Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah, it's <laughs> good. <laughs> Uh, those Russian slap matches. <laughs> <laughs> my shirt getting wet is okay. I hate getting my shoes wet. That's what I mean. Yep, the socks are going to be squishy all day. At this point, you see my reflection. Oh, you just see black. It is. You just see me. Oh. It's like pulling away. You're not staying safe. <laughs> yeah, <the camera. laughs> I'm right in the danger zone. <laughs> She's a real MVP. She's saving all of us. I'm so used to all the time when he messes the fish. You have water everywhere. We have vacuum. The vacuum packs some vacuum it's for the vacuum. water. Yeah, it's always water in the floor, no matter where. Going through your whole arsenal of towels. <laughs> this is all fish towels, and I have like two or three bags of fish towels. And it's a lot. Because one soaks up like. Really fast. Seems like every time we get a yeah. fish out, we need a new towel. Well, the good news is the other fish shouldn't do this anymore. Maybe the, the pop tool, they're so big, it's one swipe of the tail. Looks like my girlfriend when she's hungry. Rob's not here to make those jokes, so I have to yeah, Okay, good. A season sub for him. <laughs> Dude, he's pretty big. Yeah. I think. Uh, after this guy moved out of the way, <laughs> I think we should wait for the bigger pool. It's gonna be hard to get his head out of this thing, you know? Watch out, Ron. Watch out. I knew we would have trouble getting him out because he was so long. So it's head first, and you gotta always try to get the fish head out so he swims into the bag. <laughs> it's so hot in here. <laughs> I feel very things. Too much water down here. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I told Rod, I'm like, I gotta stop wearing white clothing when I come <laughs> home for you guys. But it's the least that you see that you soak. That's Anything true. else you'll see. Uh, color. Yeah, that's true. Sorry. Sample. The reason why I chose this one over the red tail, because I think with the slimmer body, he might be able to sit turned a little longer, more comfortably than the, than the red tail. All right, I'm good. Now we take a break and we wait for a ride. I'm all wet. If I go out there, I'm gonna turn to ice. My pants, my shirt, everything is drenched. <laughs> <laughs> and the fish are thrashing in the box, so that's normal though. Up. What do we have left? Those got big guys. I got five big containers. So maybe I just cut it real quick, the styrofoam outside. So we got back with the, the containers. But guys, if you can help me share this video, help me just get the word out. Let's start to help him. Even if one of us, all of us, donate a dollar, we can help him out. Because I'm sure he's his medical bill is not gonna be cheap, even with insurance. And you can tell he cares about his animals because he didn't ask me, hey, can you sell it to help me? He didn't ask me any, he didn't even ask me to do this. I am I'm the one that offered. If we can get together and try to help him out, he's a fellow hobbyist, that would be really nice. I mean, dude, you can tell that he cares, you know? Like, he could have said, hey, Rod, I want to sell these fish, I need the money. No, he said, I don't want to sell it, I want him to go to a good home. So if you can keep some, keep some. If not, find somebody that can take care of him because I won't no longer be able to. So that just shows what his character, you know, what type of man he really is. And it sucks that he's going through that. You saw the lady crying with his mom. 
just a very depressing day. It's something that I wish I wasn't part of, but now that we're here, we're helping him out. So let's try to do that. I'll talk to him, see if we can uh, come up with a GoFund page and help him out. All right, so I do appreciate it. And all the funds that we're gonna make on this video is gonna go to him. He doesn't even know that. I don't I don't need to tell him that. So if you guys uh, can help me out, spread the word, share the video. Let's try to get him as much as we can. Because like I said, any of us, could have been any of us going through this. Let's get these in. We gotta cut them up. We gotta make some insulation boxes. He already gave me a fish shirt. <laughs> Getting the fish wasn't enough yet. This guy's close too. <laughs> he offered it. Oh, you want me to just finish it off since I'm already wet? Nah, it's okay. I want to. I want to enjoy some too. I can't have all. I'm the telling you, take one pair of pants off. I have three, but one is waterproof. We good. Okay, I'm just giving you some you wisdom. <laughs> take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Yep. <laughs> I had one of these go through my finger, my hand one time. The pictorial fin, you get right stuck under my ring. That's good. All right, that cat has to move my way. Nestor, I know how you feel, man. When I moved to Florida, I gave away a lot of my big fish. Yeah, I know, I know the feeling. Now he knows. Uh -oh. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Flip him out. I'm holding it. Get under. Flip him out. Yeah, flip him out. <laughs> <laughs> he about to slap me in the face with the tail. Oh, this is this is not a pocket. That's a whale. <laughs> <laughs> He's big. It's probably like 25, 30 pounds. That was the biggest. That was the biggest. Do like your friend, okay? Be nice. When's the last time you moved these fish? Um, 2017. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so they're not used to it. Way anymore. small. Yeah, the whole, all the fish will fit in one site just fine, and they don't help that they eat out. Sometimes the best thing is to get fired. I think John, can you do this? Because my I have my back's been acting up. Sure, I'll we'll switch. Yeah, <laughs> make him enough. <laughs> Ready? I'm gonna have a strong finger. All right. Good job, guys. Good job. Good. Squeeze out the air, please. Squeeze out the air, please. I'm freezing. It's your idea to move to New York. <laughs> hey. Squeeze up the air, I'm freezing. <laughs> what happened, bro? He left me to pack the fish. <laughs> Guys, after a long day, I just want to say, my name's Otherway. Thank you. And uh, I'm sure all of us and everybody that's watching are going to be praying. And I will give you a hug while I'm soaking wet. <laughs> I don't think you want that. Thank you so it was much. It nice for meeting you. Thank you for everything. And like I said on the video, you know, you didn't ask me for anything. All you care about was to make sure that these fish went to a good home. Yeah. And and that shows your character. And, and I really do appreciate that. I'm going to do it with it. And I appreciate I don't even want to get emotional. I'm going to do the best <laughs> I can to help you out. And, and I'm hoping that our followers can do the same thing. Thank you okay? so much. Well, all we got to do is keep positive energy, right? Yeah. And whatever you guys need from me, Kevin, even the cameraman, you know, we're we're gonna be here for you guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, I really, really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Yeah. Anything you want to say? Um, no, just I appreciate you know all the well wishing from you guys, and uh, you know, just have to fight. Yes. It's just a battle to fight, right? <sighs> it's like I said before. It's a video. I wish I didn't make it. You know, I didn't. I wish you didn't have to go through this and get rid of your fish. But like I said, I give you my word. You're there whenever you need him back, or if you need something else, we're there for you. I really appreciate it. Give your hug, man. I'm sorry, I'm wet. I don't care. But anytime you want to come over, okay? 
where that where right. launch in at. Right, you need to stop crying because you're going to need me crying. <laughs> you started me crying. Uh, Thank you so much. Right, whatever you guys need, we're there. Okay? Thank you. <sighs> All right. And we All appreciate right everything Take care. that you guys nice to meet you guys. We're not the only ones. I'm sure. I know. I know. But it's... It, what really motivates me is that he he cared more about the fish than anything else, you know? Which was like... Anybody else could be like, All right, let me sell. Let me do this. But he cares about them going to a good home. And that just shows... Like I said, his character, you know, and I really hope that we can all get together and, and help him out. And that's coming from me, not even from them. So let's do it. All right, my friend. I'm going to drive. Keep in touch, okay? I will. I'll, I'll call her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go. Okay. Let's right. go because we got a long drive. All right, this this traffic is going to be insane, but it, uh, it, everything was worth it. You know, coming here, helping him out. I didn't want to say in there because it was it was just so bad like the whole atmosphere was so sad i think he told he told us off camera right kevin that he's got kidney can cancer how did he start with yes, kidney it started with the his kidneys the way he worded it it was like he, he's like one of his kidneys is completely gone in, in, in when they did the imaging he couldn't even tell it was a kidney anymore and then it metastasized to his lungs as well so they're supposed to go see the doctor tomorrow and hopefully just start treatment immediately and that's why it was so important that we got all the fish out today. This is, this is honestly guys, like I'm holding my tears in, but the hardest part today, <laughs> it's hard for me to talk about it. It was uh, to see his mom cry. You know, I didn't, I thought it was just a neighbor and it was his mom and I was just saying, my son's dying, my son's dying. That's, that's the saddest part, man. So whatever we can do to help him, you know, a few guys out there um, went through this before and want to reach out to them and give words of wisdom and, you know, support anything of help at this moment you know even like i said if all of us don't need a dollar we we can make them enough money that you know can probably get them better treatment uh whatever we can do to help i really i'm i'm asking this for <laughs> from the heart it sucks could happen to any of us so keep them in your prayers and uh let's go back to the shop hopefully we get there soon enough to unload these fish before nightlight All right, guys, so uh, today's rescue, I knew going in there, it was gonna be a tearjerker. And I think everybody knew it too. And we were trying to avoid that. So everyone was kind of like commenting and joking around, trying to lighten the humor a bit. But uh, sometimes it's like, that's the big elephant in the room. And uh, no one can get around, you know, no one can get away from that. Um, but I think today's rescue wasn't really a rescue for the fish. It was more a rescue for Nestor and his family, where, um, of course, the, the the main focus was the fish, but it was more of getting it out of there and then so that they can focus on something more important like Nestor's health and recovering. And by us going there to help them uh, take the fish off their hands, it just really relieved uh, or took a big stress off, off their minds knowing that it would be well taken care of or we would you know make sure it would go to a good home so ultimately i think um, this is the first time i've been on a rescue like that and uh, i i want to say i want to help more people in this way but at the same time i don't think you know i want to see more of this type of situation you know so uh i i think uh Today was a very uh, big eye-opener for me and I think for everyone who was there also. Hi guys, today is kind of like a really tough day for me. What I have to see today, I help the boy out. I see his eye, I see his white tear, make me feel so bad, so sad. Remind me what I have been through with my mom, my dad. And I just can't do this. And I really hope he feel better. I'm sorry, guys. I can't do this. What's up, you guys? My name is John. I've been helping Rod with the video stuff, and I am the brother of Mike, who does Zen Aqua. He does the Zen Aqua stands. Um, so I've been helping Rod out a lot, and I see the type of care that he has for the fish, and I see all the uh, the, the positive things that he's been doing, and it's really. Uh, it's great and today was a very interesting experience because we got to um, we got to help somebody in need you know um, the situation was very difficult to deal with as it is 
um, something I couldn't even imagine. So my prayers are with him and his family. But, you know, we, we try to remind ourselves on our way back that it was a good thing that we did as much as we could with the resources we had available to help somebody in need. So that was a very uh, comforting thing and a very nice thing to, to it was just a, it was a nice thing to do. You know, we were, we were able to do what we could for Nestor. It was really tough to see because his fish, you could tell that he just put so much heart and soul into keeping his fish in such great condition. And he loved them and he cared for them and he still does care for them. And he's got to fight this really difficult battle, which is not going to be easy for him or his family. It, it was very difficult to, to watch him watch his fish go because it, it was kind of like watching a piece of his life go. Um, I don't really know how else to explain it, but it was, very, it, was, it was a sad moment, but also a very happy moment because we were uh, able to do our part to help keep these fish healthy and keep them alive, just what he wanted. So we're gonna do our part in every way we can, helping him with his GoFundMe um, and keep our prayers with him and his family. So it was difficult, it was very difficult and my heart goes out to you guys because that was, that was not easy to see and I, I wish you good health. <sighs> oh, all right. I hate being the last one, but today uh, rescue video was was just sad overall. Uh, I wish if we could change anything, you know, just to go back in time and and, and take that away from him, you know, the 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 problems that he had. So many good people out there suffering, you know, and and a lot of us complain about little things in life that. If we really think about it, it, doesn't make a lot of sense, you know, because our time here is limited and it could happen to any of us. Um, that's so this message for you. Um, I will keep you in my prayers. I'm glad that we got to meet you. I uh, consider you a friend. Anytime you want to come up here, feel free to come up. Anytime you want to talk, I'll make time for you. Uh, the only thing I can tell you is uh, you're a warrior and uh, you have a lot of character. And that speaks a lot about you, you know, how you reached out. Instead of wanting to sell the fish, you just wanted to go to a good home. You didn't even ask me for help. You didn't ask for anything. You just asked for help picking out the fish. So that means a lot. And uh, we'll do our best to keep this fish alive. They, we, come, we got back. They're all healthy. They're all looking good. Uh, some of them we might send it away to bigger ponds. Uh, but some of them were, some of them are already too big to uh, be shipped out. But overall, it was just a sad day, like, and you go home and you, you feel it, you feel it in you, um, you know, his parents are crying. I think what, what touched me the most today was to see his mom crying uh, because I saw, you know, my mom, you know, the parents shouldn't, shouldn't have to see this stuff, you know. So there's nothing I can say to make the day better or make you feel better or anybody watching these videos that are probably going through something similar, you know, uh, we'll just keep praying. There's not really, you know, I wish there was a solution in life, but it's not, you know, it's like what my dad always told me, he's like, don't stress over little things, you know, um, everything has a solution. The only thing that doesn't have a solution is death. So until you get there, we try to figure out the solution. And that's my message of the day. Don't let little things bother you. Life is too short, you know. Enjoy the people around you. Say I love you to them every day I can. Like my father, I, I hug and kiss him every day I see him, you know. And I'll never take that to regret. Moving away from them is, was the biggest, hardest thing for me coming up here. So take advantage of your kids, take advantage of your parents. Say I love you as much as you can and just be happy. Be happy because you never know. But. Hopefully uh, we don't have to do those types of rescue again, but we will if we have to. We're here to help, to fish, people, anything. All right? I appreciate you guys watching and being there for us, and hopefully we can be there for Nestor as well, because I could tell that uh, he's a good man and his family loves him. Thanks for watching.